Let's set up the perimeter. I'm trying to set up the perimeter, dude, but look, look at these zombies here. They just don't stop. But is somebody in there just giving birth to all these zombies or what? Just a, a big-ass mama zombie? Okay, babies. You know what to do. Mama's over here giving birth to the zombies. Look at this. Never stops. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Infectinator Survivors. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So, we did one video on this, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. Wanted to see a bit more. A lot of people were asking for a series. Now, I will try to record a couple of videos, maybe for a series, but keep in mind this is a very hard game, so... I think my best run off-camera was maybe four days, and there's a total of 15 days in the game, so... You know, it's a really difficult game, especially early on when you're a new player such as I am. Now, on the upside, you guys left me a lot of good tips and advice, which we'll actually cover here pretty soon. So right now... We have two missions that have question marks. What this means for us is it's either a survivor here, or human enemies, or boss zombies. Both of the last two ones are terrible for us early in the game, so you know what? I think for now we ignore the question marks until we're a bit more sturdier. So I think for now we'll probably either go to the gun shop or maybe this SOS sign over here. Eh, yeah, let's go to the gun shop. More guns is always a good thing I would say, right? So let's go over here for now and check this out. We will do a scout first to kind of thin down the number of zombies in the actual map here pretty soon. Oh, we have a zombie ambush. Great. You are surrounded. The undead are quickly closing in on your location. You need to do something quickly. You quickly look around and saw a dark and narrow alleyway. It could be a way out or a dead trap. <laughs> Going into an alleyway, huh? That sounds like a dead trap to me, but you know what? It might be the only way out. You decided to go through the alleyway hoping to avoid the zombie horde. Your gamble paid off. You managed to sneak past the zombie horde safely and unnoticed. Oh, good god. A lot of these events, by the way, can actually instantly kill one of your members, is what you guys told me. So I have to be really careful with RNG in this game. Alrighty, so let's go in here and scout to begin with. So we can kind of get an idea of what's in here and also thin down any sort of um, enemy numbers we might run into here. And we might also want to grab a turret here as soon as possible. But for now, let's actually just go ahead and grab as many of these items as possible here. You guys told me in the comments as well that apparently reloading or forcing a reload when my guys haven't gone through their ammunition just yet actually uses my extra ammo. So for instance, assuming the guy needs only like one more bullet to fill up the clip and I have him reload, it will actually use 20 instantly. So... I'm not happy about that because I'm a person who constantly reloads because I always want to be ready for anything. We have three waves here. That's not too bad. Um, let me set up a build here. And you come through this side. Okay. Uh, you know what I like? I like that the actual area does look like a gun shop too. So that's actually pretty cool. Alrighty. So, Loco, let's have you drop back here. Let's let the turret deal with these Zambros for now. You continue searching here meanwhile. Oh my god, that was actually really easy. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> I am glad. I've had, like, really difficult waves early in the game. This game takes no mercy on you whatsoever. So, let's see here. I see zombies there. Oh, we have a sign. Oh, these are the guys that leave the goo. God, I hate those guys so much. Okay, move back through here. See the goo right there? The scientists apparently leave that. So, two are now down. One more wave to go? Okay, that's not too bad. I am glad this was actually a very easy one. And I'm glad we ignored those question marks. As tempting as they look, you, you're probably better off just ignoring them early on. Alright. Oh, yeah, have a hard worker dude as well. He's a bit faster than the regular crew. And that's it. Okay. I think I should be able to salvage you now because we're done, we're done. Are we done, correct? Yeah, we're done. Okay. Let's go. So that was it for the scout. Oh, such an easy scout. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead here and explore now. I can't scout over and over, mind you, to make the exploration a lot easier. But considering how easy the scout was, maybe the map itself won't be too bad as well. So I'm going to go in with that idea here that the map isn't really too bad. Now, before we start getting in here and searching for items, let's have my crew just kind of run around the map and get as much of the exploration done before we run into any waves here. Just get a leg up in the situation here. Okay, got some water. I wonder if there's like any sort of like, um, oh. Um, behind you guys. There you go. And again, I won't force the reloads because that's actually really bad. So here we have wave number one coming up pretty soon. You know what really throws me off about these waves and these maps is that I'm not sure where they're going to show up from. They just show up randomly. So it's not like they show up from one side of the map where you're thinking, okay, well, I'll just camp over here and deal with them this way. It's like, you don't know where they're coming from. All right. 
I do want to check these cars out, I guess. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Vato? Vato Loco, you handle that surge and I will cover you here. Oh, car battery. That's actually really, really good. Wave number two. Okay, you saw that? That was actually really easy, thankfully, maybe due to our scout earlier. Let's come down here. I got you, buddy. Don't you worry. I got you covered here. There we go. Oh, gasoline. Very, very good. Very good. That'll actually help us speed up our... Bo we could boost with that on the base to make and search stuff a lot faster. Not search stuff, bud. Research items and create items a lot faster as well. Okay. Do that search over here. I got you. I got you. Wave number three. Oh, God. Go. Oh, good. Good reaction. Good reaction, bro. Okay. No, 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 no. That's Goo Guy. Don't want to deal with Goo Man. Man, you just popped that guy, huh? All right, Vato. Check this one out. Oh, no, 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 no. Reloading, reloading. Move back. Ooh, no damage. No damage. Good. Oh, we just got like a... I think we got like a sniper scope or something. Not sure what that was, but it looked... No, no! Dude, don't run the fucking AI pathing sometimes really annoys me. You saw that? Oh, let me just walk right through it. It's like, why don't you just file in a single line after your bro? No, I'm gonna walk through the green goo. That seems a lot more tempting for me at the moment, you know, just easy damage. Why? You, you mad, Falcon? You mad I'm taking this damage right here? As a matter of fact, Vato Loco, I'm actually quite upset. I'm slightly salty now. Just slightly, not too much, you know. I'm having, like, slightly less salted chips here at the moment. Now, I'm not seeing any more waves, so that might mean that, thankfully, due to our scouting that we did earlier, the waves might be done here. So now we do have free reign of the map. Whatever's left over here in terms of zombies, that we still have to deal with. But as you can see, most of the map's been already explored. As long as I stick to the perimeter, it's a lot easier, too. See Zam running through there. Fast guy, he might be one of the hard hat workers. Alright, so you search over here. I'm gonna do something that's really foolish, and that is break up the crew, which I don't really think that's a good idea. But I'm also trying to kill time here, so we're not in one map for too long a period as well. Gotta have a bit of patience, though, fam. Gotta be patient, my man. I wanna also go into my inventory and see what we have. But I'll do that once I know we're safe here. Okay, let's um come up through here now. I saw some more Zambros over through that side. We now have to probably start going in through the area to clear out the rest of the map here. Hmm, yeah, okay. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, we have some gun cabinets. We also got a lot of zombies filing through. That's good. As long as they file through one area, it's not too bad. Yeah, keep coming. There you go. Uh, let's see. Let's move forward a bit here. Do I dare search now? Search it. Local, give me some cover, buddy. And I guess he might as well... Ooh, another gun! Okay, search that too. I need to find out what guns we have, because I know we've picked up quite a few weapons now. Ooh, we have some sort of, like, grip of some kind, too. We might be able to make some really cool weapons as well. Maybe a magnum of some kind. Just blow zombies' head off at only one shot. Search that, okay. How's your map? 62 of 75? Not too bad, not too bad. Got some jumper cables as well. <laughs> this game goes all out with all the different car parts, man. I will tell you that much. Alright, Vanto, let's have you meet up with Vic over here. No, up here, not down. Let's have you guys come in through here. See sparklies and shinies to the right-hand side. We got 6% left of this map here. Okay, we're almost there. Search the sound. And let's see if I can get the rest of what we're missing here. Yeah, this might be it. This might be the end of the zombies here. Oh, we got a 9-volt battery. Okay. Vic, follow along. Hey! Random zombie. Out of ammo. Um, you, you reload, Vato, please. And you give him some cover. Okay. Good crit. Come on. 3% left over. You telling me I haven't got 3% yet? Come on, man. Area explored. Excellent. Alright, so check this out. Let me come through here really quickly and we'll look at my inventory right now. Ooh! Glad I came through here before we left. Got one more. One more. All right, we're getting a bunch of, like, weapon parts at least, too. We're having some pretty decent luck finding good stuff here. Okay, and I think we just got some more food. So bring the zombie down, and let's look at our inventory here. Um, we need to go to character. 
So you have the MP5, which apparently people were correcting me. Falcon is not an AK gun. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know shit about guns, all right? <laughs> I call everything either a pistol or an AK. Um, let's see. He's got that equipped. We have two UMPs. We have a Tech 9 and we have a sh Ooh, a shoddy, too. Um, let's see. What's the difference here? Rate of fire goes down, but more damage. How's the range? 3.5, same range, 25 clip, 30 clip. So we're dropping rate of fire, but a bit more damage. It's not too bad. What about the Tech 9? Mmm. No, I would say the Tech 9 nod. I like the idea of the, S the UMP SMG gun. So let's equip that one on you. Any gear for us? We have the suppressor. I don't think we really need that. Reflex sight. Faster aim, slightly increase attack speed of firearms. Hmm. I wonder if I could use that with the shotgun in combination. Make it a bit easier. Faster aim. I feel like the shotgun is something that you, you're a bit slower with. So that's about it, huh? No defensive equipment, unfortunately. So let me go with the reflex sight on you, and you keep the shotgun for now. I think we, need, do, we do need some firepower as backup, and that's it. All right, let's get out of here. Not a bad map. Not a bad map at all. So let's leave. Yes. Okay, that was a decent one. Very decent. And that was down here. So now by getting that one open, we have opened up a bit more of the map here. So we have this apartment building, and we have another SOS um, thing up here. We're up to 10 fuel, 18... So oh my god, 18 supplies. That's a lot. Especially for two people, it's actually really good. Our stamina is 6 of 10. As I mentioned, you might want to drop your stamina down to like a 1 before you go back, so... Because of that, I think we continue going, but I'm going to ignore the the quote-unquote tough areas for now. I kind of want to go up here and check out this SOS. Maybe we could find a different survivor here, too. So let's go over here for now. And let's see here. There is a newspaper stand on the side of the road. Is this a trick as well? It's a newspaper stand. What's the worst that could probably happen here, huh? Let's take a look. Don't answer that question, game. Please don't be like, Oh, surprise! This is what could happen right here, Falcon. You died. You stick your hand in a newspaper thing, it comes down, it chops your hand off, and you're dead. You bleed out. Rig pages and rotten papers are scattered all over the place. On the shelf are old newspapers, magazines, and comic books still in good condition. Okay. Grab a newspaper, grab a magazine, or grab a comic book. Maybe a magazine? Maybe we find, like, a, an issue of some sort of weapon? Muscular shape in eight days. You grab the fitness magazine. The cover reads, Amazing Sexy Bikini Bodies. Learn how to get the sexy celebrity skinny bikini bods. The article explains about diet and fitness exercises. The rest of the magazines are trivial. What does that mean for me? Among the other books you found, a weapons manual. That's what I was hoping for, something like that. A gun magazine. What does that do for me? I have no idea. I guess we'll figure out back home. So let's come in here, the SOS and scout first. And, you know, things are going all right for now, but they can turn on us really, really quickly here. Uh, one of seven waves. That is something I don't like to see right now. I think we could also search through here. Um, no? Can't search there? No, not a box we could search. Oh, goddamn. Um, you guys are coming in like fucking bats out of hell. Loco, can you get behind cover? Um, let's also build. I mean, that was actually a really easy way for just one. But let's have some backup just in case. Now, Vic, get over here. This is actually a really good spot for us because we're behind barricades and the zombies can't get to us. And we have, like, perfect sight on them right here from the front. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I should do? Let's switch the positioning. Because we have Vic with the faster gun, right? So he should probably keep an eye out over here. And then Vic or Vato Loco with the slower gun takes care of this and the turret will back him up a lot easier. Oh, and Vic leveled up too, I think. No, no, I don't think we've leveled up just yet. We should be leveling up pretty soon. I think by the time we get back home, we should have some experience to level ourselves up. And the thing I want to focus on, I heard, is aim. The better your aim is, the less you miss, and obviously the less of a hard time with zombies here. All right, that went pretty well. Let's go. Oh, no, the salvage! Falcon, you forgot the salvage, you dingus. God damn it. Alrighty. Um, I like the idea of building right over here. And then we'll just post up behind this. Vato, once you're done... Oh, that's empty? That's terrible. Search this one out here. And Vic, let's get you behind cover now. Vato, how do you feel about searching here meanwhile? I think we should be fine with the turret and... Vic over here watching. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> Those guys are getting a bit too close for my comfort there. Um, yeah, this isn't too bad. This is not too bad at all. Let's put Vic, like, maybe over here. 
and Vato over here. And I'll keep an eye on this one here. Keep, uh, file through the bottom. Yeah, yeah, file through the bottom. No, not from the top. All right, you know what? Vato, let's get you up here. Turret will defend the bottom, and we'll defend the top side. That's good. Give me the wave early. There's no more places for us to explore right now, so we might as well get some extra bonus points here. Fabric, those guys are down. After this, we only have one more wave left over, so this was not a bad area for us to scout as well. So far, we're having some pretty decent luck. Last wave. Bring that over now. Who's there? I see some cops. Zombie cops. Okay. Oh, good. Of course, they're filing up to the top. I think we're done, though. So, you come over here and salvage, and we're done. Yeah! That went really, really good. And hopefully, that helps us out with our exploration map, too. Let's leave. Okay. SOS. I would like to get another person to the party. That would be nice. So, let's go in here to explore now. And see what the SOS has over here for us. This seems to be like some sort of random... car shop somewhere. And as usual, we'll just circle around here meanwhile. Do want to get in through here. We haven't seen some of the tough zombies just yet, which I'm grateful for. I mean, early on the game likes to throw, like, um, there's this fat zombie that comes after you. Um, she's not too bad, she's very slow, but she takes a bunch of bullets before she goes down. The one that I'm really worried about is whenever you run into, like, one of the boss monsters, and there's, like, this guy that's, like, dressed like a punker or something, like a bike ganger zombie dude. And that guy, really fast, and he hits you like a ton of bricks. I had to deal with him with a melee class individual, and let me tell you, that was not fun. He just basically just smoked me in one single punch. Now you gotta reload. I got you covered. Okay. This is a scarier wave, but we got it. No, 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 don't, don't walk through that. Okay, we've talked about the goo. Talked about the goo. And we have a car. I would love to check that out. Oh! Probably is best we wait. It's probably best we wait, but you know what? I don't like waiting. So you search now. Oh, oh, this is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. We got it? Keep doing it. I can't see. My, my microphone's in the way. Microphone, please. You're bothering me right now. Okay. Like, my, my mic cover is like the small bottom right portion of the screen for me right now. So if somebody pops in through that, I can't really see what they're, what they're doing. But we got it. All right, let's go. Let's go. Zombies. Zombies. I saw you walking by, okay? Don't over here act like, oh, I'm gone now, Falcon, alright? You're not, you're a zombie, you're not that quick, alright? Goes down two. Crit. I'm um, reload, yeah, yeah, go ahead and reload, guys. Gotta keep you ready. Wave number four. Another vehicle coming up, sweet. Okay, Vato, you know what to do, right? Um, Vato, never mind. You might want to wait a bit here. Got it now? Okay, search. Should be able to handle this guy. Okay, get over here, you coward. All right, fine, whatever. Coward zombie. Oh, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of quick ones and twos on the keyboard to switch between Vato and Vic. It's something you gotta get really good at here, like multitasking this a lot. Otherwise, you start moving your people together and it t just throws everything off. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oi. Oi. Okay. Good. That's 57% of the map. Out of ammo. Stop to reload. Vic cover. Vic cover still. There you go. Okay. Good stuff. Good god, this wave never ends. Let's set up the perimeter. I'm trying to set up the perimeter, dude, but look, look at these zombies here. They just don't stop. But is somebody in there just giving birth to all these zombies or what? Just a, a big-ass mama zombie? Okay, babies. You know what to do. Mama's over here giving birth to the zombies. Look at this! Never stops! Alright, are we good now? That seemed to be the last wave, because I'm not seeing any more waves now. The only problem is that this area here is just completely infested. I don't really care too much about the items at this point, I just want to get this cleared up. But I will stop for items, obviously. Because you know- oh, reloading! Oh, oh, that was a bad reload time. Okay, Vato, follow me through. We're almost there. It's coming through here. Okay. Good so far, good so far. 
We're almost done with the exploration. How much more of the map is there? Where's my goods at? I feel like this area didn't really have too many um, supplies for us to check out. I was hoping really for a survivor, but... We did not find anybody here. 1% of the map left over, we got it. Let's, um... Leave now. Preferably together, guys. Because of that. You see that? Uh-huh. Last minute Zambros. Oh, we got... One more check out here. Trash can. Mm, there's another sparkly over there, too. God damn it. You know what? The spark is gonna get the best of me one of these days. I know I'm gonna die because I will see something and be like, you know what? Let's go over there and check that out. And then suddenly, zombies will ambush me. Especially when I run off alone. I'm telling you, it's not... It's... I'm over here, like, doing, like, the whole fulfilling prophecy thing where I know it's gonna happen. Got a muffler for the vehicle. And we're done. All right, let's get out of here. Pretty good. Good map. Have we taken any damage at all this episode? I don't think we have. Leave. All right. Good job. Three stamina out of ten left over. We have another quest over here by this McDonald's with the <laughs> the M's uh, sideways B. I like that. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go back home. I know we still have a bit of stamina left over, which would give us another scout, maybe one more exploration, but um, I think we've done pretty good. I want to level these guys up, too, because I have some experience for them right now, so let's go over here. That was a really good one, though. Really good one. There's a newspaper stand. Oh, come on. Fine, take a look. Please do not screw me up right now. Um, Let's grab the, the, the newspaper this time. You grab the old newspaper, the headline reads, Strange cases of violent behavior spreads to these attacks. Uh, these attacks are getting more and more frequent and alone, no, no longer contained. I'm sorry, I can't talk suddenly. This article was written a few weeks before the outbreak. Among other books, you found another weapons manual. Okay. So let's enter the headquarters now. Yes. Okay, that was a really amazing expedition. We'll see all the goods we have here. We only got one level out of that, but we're very close to the third level. So that's fine. Look at all the ammo we have, 197 Zed kills, 8 fuel, 10 supplies, really, really good stuff here. We have to find 8 fuel, which we actually do have, <laughs> already. Got really lucky with that one. Day number 2! Someone just carefully spilled gasoline. That was so reckless, but at least it didn't cause mayhem. Ah, oh, no, come on, guys, what are you doing to me? Four supplies have been consumed by the survivors, and then Loco has recovered from the injuries because we had supplies. Hey, you might notice their supplies are running low. As a matter of fact, they're not, okay, Scotty? You know why? Because I just found a ton of supplies. I know about the kitchen, dude. Thank you. I got it. Yeah, I know how to... You, dude, I did this in the first day, okay? Shut up. Why don't you get out there and scavenge yourself? Oh, I can't. My legs are broken, huh? I can't do it. Let's level up here. So, loco, loco, loco. The first thing we gotta do is max out our aim so they never miss. So, let's see. We have... 90 and... You know what? Let's just max it out. Boom, baby. And then Vic, much of the same. I don't need you guys missing when we're in a heat of battle here, so that's great. They're all maxed out with the aim now, so hopefully that gives the chance for us to not miss so often. And let's see. Um, Let's go ahead and go to the workshop here really quickly. These are the items that we have. These are our resources here at the moment. So we have a lot of stuff right now, which is great. Now I wonder... I wonder what we could actually craft right now. We can craft new weapons and gear here in the workshop. I would love to get some defensive equipment if we could craft that. I think right now we don't have to worry too much about food. We're pretty good on food. So let's see here. We could craft the 9 volt batteries, which I believe are needed for the radio to send help signals out, and it also help us like find other people. This will give us study basic weapons. What is this going to do? Learn how to identify and safely operate weapons unlocks basic weapon crafting. Okay. Our time's running right now too? God damn, everything's always running in this game. Study basic gears. Um basic gear items that might be the the armor i'm looking for and then we have turret upgrades as well let me grab study basic gears because i want to get some actual defensive equipment on them so assign loco and assign vic and you know what i'm going to use some gasoline to boost this up yes and see there's the the upside of having a lot of fuel you could actually boost things early on and i think early on it's very important to use that because you'll find fuel down the line so we got half of it done let's do the other one right now because I would like to have some equipment going into my next mission over. Okay, so we use two fuel for that. I think that's actually worth it. And now... Speed it up. And we're done. Okay. Let's go over to Workshop and Craft Armor. There you go. So... Oh, we don't have enough fabric? You require 40 fabric? Dude, come on! 
I feel like we just used that for no reason then. Well, we have medical kits now as well. That could be pretty useful. That requires a ton of fabric too. What are you kidding me? Everything requires fabric here. We can make some 9 volt batteries and call out for help. Let me do one of these here as well. As I mentioned, we don't really need food at the moment, so that's fine. Should I use a boost for this one? Nah. Just speed it up here. Okay. I can have four 9 volt batteries now. And you know what, guys? Meanwhile, we could probably do one more. Radio for help. Recruitment call. Send out a radio broadcast to call survivors to join us. We could do a locating the supply cache and then fuel cache. Um. Let's get a recruitment call out there. And supplies, I think we're really good at supplies, so we have to get resting at four. Yeah, maybe five, actually. Eh, you know what? Let's just go ahead and assign you guys. Get some rest, because I'd rather have you rested for the night portion today. So you guys are tired. Go get some rest. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. But we'll come back next time around. We'll see if we actually get some recruitment done in time. I really doubt it, but we'll see. And then we'll go to the next mission over and see what's up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.